Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and I am going to review My Cousin Rachel. It features Rachel Weiss, Sam Claflin, uh, it is from 2017, it runs a little under two hours. And uh, it's rated PG-13, so I was expecting a pretty decent movie, and uh, I like these actors. I have always uh, appreciated Rachel Weisz for all the many things she's done. Um, she is just tremendous in this film. She's the one who really makes it. Um, Sam Claflin is a fine actor, but I don't feel like this movie was his like masterpiece work so I don't think he's gonna look back at it and go I think that was my best performance I've ever given so he was alright we'll say that so um, the first thing I want to say right away in the first uh, five minutes or so um, the camera shots and the scenery and the location and the stuff that they have to make the time authentic like carriage horses and the stalls and the bricks and the doorways are just everything is so magnificent I'm not really sure that I've seen so such a movie with such detail um, I want to say right off the bat that this movie really reminds me of Crimson Peak and I love that movie, and I don't think a lot of people did. So I just wanted to say that. Um, sorry, a little technical difficulty there. I just want to say that Crimson Peak. If you've liked that movie, the reason why it's good is because it's not what everybody thought it was going to be. And this movie has a little bit of that. It's not as good as Crimson Peak, but. It really surprised me for what it is um, and not what I thought it was going to be. That's really kind of the emphasis of the movie is there's a lot to figure out in this. And um, this uh, unfortunately is not a Q&A session, but from what I can understand, I'll just kind of break down the basics of what I understand about this movie. Rachel Weiss's character ended up killing her first husband and you can figure out the relationships between everybody because it gets a little chaotic and that's kind of how it was in history uh he's related to him and they're related and they don't care they like each other whatever and they this movie stayed very true to that um it seems like sam's character obviously wanted to get married to Rachel. She turned him down, but she has some elaborate plan to steal his money. And, and I, I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff that gets, it gets answered, but it doesn't elaborate. And you're left to kind of go, okay, I understand, but, I think it could have explained it better. That's how I feel. I think you're going to feel the same way if you see this movie. Um, but yeah, going back to my point is that I'm not sure exactly where this was shot. I kind of felt like it was Ireland or somewhere really authentic because the scenery is just amazing. I would love to go on vacation and see this place and the, the end scene it's very dramatic and everything. I was very much in the moment, but wherever that place is, it's just beautiful. So, um, yeah, some things like, um, sorry. Um, just so you, if you've never seen a movie review of mine, I watch a movie and I keep notes and then I make my movie review. I don't live in New York. I don't live in LA. I just, like 
reviewing movies because I see a lot of them. I like to keep track of everything and I pretty much say the same things. It seems like I find out that I say the same things as the professional movie reviewers. So I think, uh, sorry, I just have to look at my notes sometimes, but, uh, anyways, going on. Um, I feel like the camera work here is just amazing. They have some shots. If you're not totally sidetracked and you're paying attention to every moment of the movie, there's some moments where they slow it down and you see things go in slow motion. And then there's another shot where it shows from behind a person and they're holding something. And it suggests so much. You know, it, it emphasizes their feelings. It emphasizes their intent of what they want to do with that object. And that's just very powerful filmmaking. So I very much give kudos to the director for stuff like that. And the pan outs for the scenery and everything. Just, it's all appropriate. It's very much what I would appreciate watching like a musical and somebody singing on a hill and you see the whole hill. They did that here to make you feel the effect of how beautiful everything is around and what's going on around them. And it's, it speaks so much. So, back to the notes, I'm sorry. Um, I was going to say that the main character, Sam Claflin, doesn't really know how to argue. But I think it gets better as the movie goes. Um... Like I said, his character here is very defined. And I don't know if he really got the wholeness of what he was supposed to do. So I can't fault him for that. I can only praise him for what he did do. And he very much turned in a stellar performance in this movie. Um, I think his character is supposed to be a little younger and not and be a little bit more naive. Um, he very much pulled that off, but I don't think as an actor doing a character, he let loose everything that that character could do. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a very complex movie, and I just there's a lot to it, and not everything came across, especially at the end. I'm kind of left wondering a couple things here and there. So that's all I was going to about, say about Sam. I don't want to speak too badly about him because he really did put in a stellar job here. I just don't think that he was quite ready for what his character all embodied. Um, the only other thing I really wanted to say for praise is that, like I was saying earlier about candles and doorways and carriages and horses and the ribbon on the hat and um, stuff like that, the small stuff, it all seems so historically accurate. And a lot of movies that we've seen in the past, uh, people are talking about the It movie that's out right now, how there's modern cars and technology in there. And people notice that. And in this movie, I didn't see anything uh, that seemed off base. A pen or a pan or you know, shoes or nothing. So I really much appreciate that. This movie as a whole, my cousin, my cousin Rachel is immensely underwhelming that anybody would think that if there's anything wrong with it, it's just so complex that I don't know if it knew what it was doing. Um, you got to kind of be ready for what your movie can be. And how it was so dramatic and so effective in the anger scenes and the arguing scenes and the um, evil intent of the characters and the acting and the suggesting and the irony and the sarcasm all are on point. So I really, really want to give this movie a solid B+. I can't quite give it an A+. And when you watch it, you'll know why. Not because it drags, just because it's a little underwhelming in what it could be. I think it could have been so much more. I, I wasn't expecting anything that wasn't there. 
I just don't think it did what it could do. So that's a very um, kind of wide open review, and I'm sorry about that. I really enjoyed the movie. That's why I want to give it a B plus, but uh, I just can't do can't give it any more than that. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fault itself by being in the past. I think if I think they've tried to make movies nowadays like this, like Unforgettable, which everybody hated, and um, uh, J Lo did a movie a while back about being with a high schooler, and that turned her life upside down. People like making movies like this, and mostly they're straightforward, and there's only one point to it, and My Cousin Rachel is not like that. It does a lot more. It has a lot to it. I just don't know if it realized what all it was trying to do, and so it could answer those questions. And so in the middle, it drags a little bit, and then it has a couple things, and you're like, oh yeah, that happened, but then it kind of contradicts itself later. So other than that, all the characters, um, the butler, and the staff, and the friend, and this lawyer, you're going to really appreciate the acting job turned in. You really are. So that's my final grade is B+. Is very